All right, let's, let's go, go from uh, his favorite quarterback to a quarterback that's not as good as him just yet, and that's Jordan Love. Jordan Love was asked if he's a baller, shot caller, and the answer is yes. I love this. This is what I want from Daniel Jones. I think a lot of people just haven't seen me play enough and are not really familiar with my game. Here's the quote that we need. I'm a baller. <laughs> Shot caller, 20 inch rims, Woo! baller. So that's what they'll see. I love it though. That's exactly what I want Daniel Jones to say. Now, if you're asked, it's different nomenclature. In Green Bay, we use the term baller. In New Jersey, we use the term elite. It's the same thing. Are you one of them guys? Are you him? Jordan Love will be the first one to tell you he is. Now, he's got to prove that. Mm -hmm. But I'd rather my quarterback come out and go, I'm elite, I'm a baller, I'm him, whatever the phraseology is, than talk around it because you know you aren't. I like that. So I, I, I'm going to focus on Jordan Love because we spent a lot of time on Daniel Jones. Please do. Uh, for me, like this is an answer that you appreciate. But even if he said, you know, I got to go out there and I got to prove to not only my teammates that I can fill this void that we just uh, opened up at the quarterback yeah. position because of the history that has come before me, that, that's, that's a politically correct answer, but it's a true statement as well. But him saying that I have confidence in myself, I'm a baller, yeah. But at the end of the day, he still has to go out and prove it. Everybody in that locker room believes in Jordan Love. It is very similar to when Aaron Rodgers took over and the vibe that was inside out, meaning we believe that Aaron could get it done. No one believed it because of what was leaving and exiting from that sure. position in Brett Favre. Yeah. And the same can be said in this position, in this situation. Aaron Rodgers is a hard act to follow. No doubt about we it. know that. We understand that. So the expectation is always going to be, well, Aaron Rodgers would have done this. And the reality is, He's a different player. He's a different style of player. He has to show that he can be a great player in this league. And the guys that has his confidence or he's shown it to the most is the guys that's in the locker room with him, on the practice field with him yeah. every day that he's spent the entire offseason with that believe in what he's going to provide. And I believe he's a baller. I just got to see it. Let's be fair to Jordan Love. You know, the team that Aaron Rodgers inherited from Brett Favre was far more talented than the team that Jordan Love has uh, inherited from Aaron Rodgers. for sure. I mean, just from the wide receiver position, you're among those. You, obviously, James Jones, you know, uh, and all those Donald guys Driver, you know, winning George, Super yeah. Bowls. Yeah. So, so he, he has – you got Jones behind you. You obviously have uh, Watson, right, mm -hmm. the young stud uh, who can go deep. But the team was much better when Aaron took it over from Brett than when Jordan has taken over from Aaron. And, again, every time I see that, and then I compare that to all the stuff I've seen with my own two eyes now with Aaron Rodgers with the Jets, where he's done everything right that really can't be disputed. I go back to the fact of what were you people in Green Bay thinking? Why would you ever let that guy walk out when he still wants to play football is mind-boggling to me. And I thank you for it because your incompetence <laughs> led to my Super Bowl. And I love it. <laughs> let me give you one more little quote board here if I can. My main man, Odell Beckham Jr., uh, is now a leader. That happens with age. Uh, in my career, when I was a young guy, I was always looked as an older guy. No, what? no, 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 you weren't because of what I accomplished early in my career. Okay, sure. That's part of the reason why I was brought here was to be that person for the younger guys, try to show them the, uh, the good and the bad. Well, he's lived both. He's experienced both. Here's the one thing about Odell Beckham. A lot of his detractors and haters just choose not to pay attention to. That dude is a gym rat. He's first in, last out. He loves being on the field, practicing, working on his craft and all that stuff. And he's lived multiple lives now in the NFL from rock star with the Giants to, uh oh, what's happening in Cleveland to Super Bowl champion to another knee injury. He's had all the highs. He's had all the lows. Mm -hmm. And I love that about him where he now recognizes he's in a position to still play great football, but be a leader in the locker room for the younger dudes, namely Zay Flowers. Yeah, and I think he's respecting the fact that veterans don't get this opportunity this much in the league anymore. These and guys, he's making $15 he's million. He's making $15 million, dollars, but for me, it's when he makes the statement of, you know, early in my career when I made plays, I was 
considered an older guy. He's not really – he wasn't really considered an older guy, but what he's saying is when you, when you make plays in this, in this league, you immediately start to get pushed to the forefront as – Someone who's leading your team. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are a leader, but the expectations, what is put on you yeah. because of your playmaking ability is, wow, we got to follow this guy. And that's what he was in with the Giants. Now, some of his actions Look, didn't he always He was a knucklehead. That. Correct. No doubt. Because he was young and he was immature yeah. at times. But now, because of all of that that you just mentioned, all of those experiences, highs and lows, he has the knowledge and he's been exposed to so much more that he now wants to issue it to these young guys. Yep. And a guy who's going to benefit more than anyone on that roster is Zay Flowers. Yeah, and of course, Lamar Jackson having a guy you can just throw the ball up to and there's a better than 50-50 shot, he's going to come down with it. And here's, here's the rub on, on Odell Beckham. If dude can still play, and it looks like he can, obviously we'll see in a month, that's a problem for everybody else. Because when he's at his best, he's unguardable. He's that good running routes, obviously making catches a lot of guys can't make. And I'm telling you, this Baltimore Ravens offense, you are looking at what is going to be the best production they have had in the franchise's history. Ooh. That is on the table. Todd Munkin, the new offensive coordinator, who loves throwing the ball. The kid Flowers, obviously Odell, don't forget Mark Andrews, a healthy and happy Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Like, that's why I'm telling people in Cincinnati, start shaking. Start shaking because your run's over. The rain is over. It, it is. Sorry, you got Cleveland with Deshaun, you got Kenny Pickett and George Pickens in Pittsburgh, and you got this loaded team. That division might very well be the best division in all of football. Right. And I'm saying that acknowledging that the NFC East is three deep, that the AFC West is three deep. Mm -hmm. That division might very well be the best division in all of football. Can I, wait, the AFC West is three deep? Who's the third team? The AFC what? F AFC West is three AFC deep. West? Who's that third team? Raiders. Come on, come on! Come on! Don't leave me right here! Do not leave me! The Denver Broncos! <laughs> oh, go to break! Go to break! Hey there! Thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.